Hi everyone, welcome to another session about agriculture. I'm so excited for this video because today I'll be talking about what you need to know exactly when you're coming to agriculture in a particular university. Because it's really important to know which department is offering which course and how many departments are there in a university uh, for particularly in agriculture because agriculture is something kind of like a very big let's take an example of soil science everyone of us thinks that soil science uh, is something that is related to plants and all and that's for sure very much true but in our university the soil science is under environmental science and technology department rather than in plant science that's how it is differing this was a difference i have seen when i came here but it will be different in some other university too it's really important to know what are the departments are present what are the courses and what are the majors that the department is offering so in this video i'll be talking about the university of maryland college park where i am currently studying and in the future uh, videos I'll be researching about all the other universities and what are the departments they are having try to give you the knowledge as much as I can before straight away going into the video I would like to explain here how the hierarchy of uh, the university work first of all this is University of Maryland as you already know and here there are so many colleges like College of Engineering College of Agriculture like the one that I'm studying and there is College of uh, Public Health and there are so many different kinds of colleges. So when coming to College of Agriculture, there are so many departments. Uh, there are around like nine departments that are under College of Agriculture. And one thing that is more important to know here is each department is very individual and they do the things in their own way. If there is any research work that they need to do, they just collaborate. But budget wise or any programs wise, like whatever it is, uh, they are on their own and they have their own building. It sounds funny but sometimes uh, might not know a professor who is working in the other department of same college you know sometimes it happens and I have seen such instances that actually tells you how much different uh, each department is even though they all come under the College of Agriculture in the College of Agriculture nine departments are offering graduate programs and they are agriculture and resource economics animal and aviation sciences entomology environmental science and technology marine estuaries and environmental Environmental sciences, nutrition and food science, plant science and landscape architecture, veterinary medicine, and the last one is extinction education. Extinction education is something uh, that they have introduced recently for the graduate programs, but all the other eight departments they are having graduate programs and they do uh, welcome international students. So there is a high chance that you might get or land into one of these if your major is in just fall under any of these things. So now, as I mentioned, what are the departments that are present? I would like to mention briefly like very briefly uh, what are the courses or what are the majors that uh, they are offering particularly in the grad school so yeah I'll start with the number one first department as I mentioned is agriculture and resource economics this one offers both masters and PhD but the thing is they only welcome the applications in the fall you will be studying the applied economics and they will be dealing with uh, environmental economics agricultural economics developmental economics these are all the three major areas they'll be focusing on their research works the second department is animal and aviation sciences as you know animal means veterinary this department deals with genetics and cell biology everything veterinary like everything related to animals but genetics and cell biology animal behavior and well-being nutrient utilization and metabolism of the animals and pathobiology and infectious diseases of animals these are the main focus of research areas that they have been concentrated and they're offering both masters and PhD and they are welcoming the students for both the sessions fall and the spring third department is entomology entomology is in our building so it doesn't have a separate building it's kind of like a small department so I know kind of some professors in entomology and it's a really good department too they are also offering masters and PhD and the research area is focusing on IPM and biological control of agriculture urban and forest pests and also ecology conservation restoration and climate change something
anything related to climate change issues. They also deal with genetics, genomics and medical entomology. Uh, these are all the research focuses and if you are something looking for this one, try to apply this one. Uh, next is environmental science and technology and in this there are four major areas where the research is particularly focused on. One is soil science and the second is wetland areas uh, and the third is ecological technical design, something related to ecology and the last one is e ecosystem health and natural resource management. Uh, I do know some professors from this department uh, and I have taken some soil science classes. Even though you, uh, I study or I am from plant science department, uh, I do take some courses from environmental science because soil is something related to plant sciences too. So that's how I know and, and they are also offering masters and PhD. The next department is marine estuaries and environmental sciences. This is related to fisheries in any of the other countries, mainly from India where I have came from. Fisheries and all the other uh, sea animals. Here the research focuses more on environmental impacts and how they are affecting the fisheries life. Uh, mostly they concentrate with the climate change or uh, something related to environment. Also along with that they also focus on molecular mechanics and also the chemical pollutants of environmental impacts. These are all the research areas that are focusing on and if you are looking for fisheries then you can try to apply for this uh, department. Also for all these departments there are different websites and I will link down separately for each department so that you can just click the link and go to that particular website look out for the professors and see uh, if any professor is looking for a student the sixth one is nutrition and food science what I can say about this department is there are uh, quite a few Indian professors it gives some boost up when you are trying to apply for any positions or any uh, masters or PhD programs and the research that they are focusing on is genetic and metabolic basis of dietary requirements for both with plants and animals and nutritional biochemistry, uh, nutritional aspects of chronic disease, community nutrition, international nutrition and epidemiology, neuroscience and health behavior and health promotion. These are all the research focuses. They are offering both PhD and master's uh, programs for the grad school. Oh, and the seventh one is my department, plant science and landscape architecture. In my department, they are offering both uh, master's and PhD and you can apply for both both fall and the spring. Research focuses is on plant breeding. If you are looking for plant breeding in weed, then this is the department for you. And turf grass, which I am currently doing, and turf pathology, horticulture. Uh, the research interest that I have mentioned is completely related to the plant science. When coming to the landscape architecture, uh, they are something urban planning and uh, something you need to have a background of uh, landscaping designing. One thing that is important to notice here is even though plant science and landscape architecture are coming under the same department, they both actually operate in different manners. Uh, I mean, uh, the students, uh, everyone, we all come together for any of the parties, but even though they sound as the same department, they kind of uh, operate separately the research areas are totally different because one is designing and one is totally field and research work so it's kind of different but it's the same department and the next department is veterinary medicine so, like shortcut you can call as wet medicine they deal with bacteriology epidemiology virology immunology and parasitology all these things i think there will be more kind of like a lab work like based on this i would say but i have no clue what they are literally doing most of the things would be in the lab and also they deal with issued patents these are all the things of uh, veterinary department and the last one is extinction education this is kind of like a department where they used to have a small program and that's why uh, they don't even have a separate website for this this is just under the college of agriculture website uh, but now they are offering master's program for someone and they have created this master program i think last year uh, for someone who wanted to do the extinction work in agriculture so I will link down this website also in the description so go do check that out this is all about different departments and what are the courses they are offering I guess you got a little idea of what exactly 
is happening in each department uh, based on the research work interests and research work areas. So I would highly recommend you to check out a uh, department of your interest and see what the professors are doing here. So yeah, this is all about it. And in the future, I, as I said, I'll try to make videos on other universities, like what are their departments and what are the graduate programs they're offering, you know. It's different for different universities, right? If you like my video, uh, just subscribe to my channel and you will be getting uh, more videos on agriculture. See you all in the next video. Until then, Shravya signing off. Bye.